everybody, it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart, and in this video, I am going to show you a sample of what our morning circle time looks like. This is what I do with all of my preschool students, but today's video, I'm just gonna be doing it with my two kiddos. Um, and so it's just a sample day. It might be a little bit rough here and there, but at least you'll get an idea of how you can run um, a circle time, either with your own kiddos, or if you have a preschool class or some young kids that you bring into your home and you want to have some learning time, then this is an example of how I can do it. I'll make sure and put in the description box below lyrics to some of the songs that I sing and kind of an overview of what it is that we're doing so you can double check that. You don't have to pause the video and try and replay it a couple of times, although it might help you with the tune if it's a song you've never heard of before. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So when we do our morning time, we have just cleaned up all of our books, which I have behind me here. And um, then I, we have a little small talk. We talk a little bit about how was your weekend, how was your day, kind of just a little small talk. And then we get started with our circle time. And that's what I'm going to show you right now, okay? All right. So who's going to be the helper of the day today? All right. Here is your stick. And what number is today? 17. Oh, 17 is the next number, but today is actually not the 17th, so we have to get all the way up to number 17, okay? So here we go. Let's count. Se wait, put this one on first. 17. What comes next, Adeline? 18. 18. Oops. Here you go. Next. Good job. 19, this was yesterday. So what does that make today? 19. No, today's not 19, today is Monday. What day is today? What comes after 19? 20. 20, that's right. All right. So I got my calendar just from a school supply store and I actually made these numbers myself. So if you're wondering where I got them, I just got, I just made them on like a Photoshop program or something like that. Okay, now we're gonna count the numbers. All right, ready everyone? One, two, count. Three, four, five, six, whoops. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. And how many days do we have until the end of school? One, two. No, one, two, three. That's right, we have three more days of class and then school will be over. We're gonna have a big party on the last day of school with all the students, so that will be a lot of fun. Yep, okay, let's do our days of the week, or our months of the year song. All right, ready? Sunshine. When we get to May, we're going to be sunshines. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May. June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. One more time. January, February, March, and April, May. June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Nice job. Okay, let's do our alphabet. Okay, ready everyone? A, B, say it, add it with us, okay? C, D, E, F, G, H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Nice job. So one reason that I have them point is because it teaches them right to left. So when they start reading, then they already have that habit without knowing that they're practicing it. So we do it both with the calendar and with our alphabet. So it kind of helps them get that um, left to right reading, okay? 
All right, Addie, choose a letter in a blue square and tell me what letter you choose. What letter is that? B for Bethany. B for Bethany. How, what sound does the B make? B, 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 B. You're right. The bumblebee B says Z, but the letter B says B, B, B. Nice job. Okay, choose a letter in a green square. What letter is that? L for Lion and Lennon. L for Lion and Lennon. What does the L say? Ooh, nice job. Okay, one more. Choose one in a green. Oh, we did green. Choose one in a yellow square. Red, yellow. Good job. And what letter is that one? Um, J for jelly beans and jelly. Jelly, jelly. We like to put jelly on our toes. And Jason. Jason, that's right. And the J says? J J J J J J J Good job. Okay, let's do some colors. Yellow, orange, red. Which one is it? Brown, blue, green, brown, green, pink, gray, purple, red, blue, brown. Do white and black, Adeline. You've done all the colors. White, black. Nice job. Okay, here are your color questions. Now, previously in the year, we have already learned about mixing colors. That was one of our weeks that we did. So after that week, I usually do it in about the middle of the school year. So then the rest of the school year, I ask them their color questions. All right. What do you get when you mix yellow? Where's yellow? Yellow and red. Orange. Orange. That's right. Where's orange, Addy? Yellow and red make orange. Okay. What do you get when you mix red and blue? Purple. Nice job, Cameron. Purple. And what do you get when you mix yellow and blue? Green. Adeline, what color do you get? Green. That's right. So we got to work on those a little bit more. What do you get when you mix white and red? Pink. Pink. Good job. And what do you get, Adeline? Can you answer the question for me? What do you get when you mix black and white? Gray. No, gray, you gray. silly. Black and white make gray. Okay, um, let's do our spotlight. What two colors do you want to spotlight today? Purple and blue. If you're wearing purple or blue, you can stand up. Cameron's got blue. Adeline has blue. I have blue on my pants. Yay! Oh All of us are wearing purple and blue. Nice, nice. Okay, let's do our vowels. Oh, wait. I forgot to sing my song. The primary colors are one, two, three. Red, rubble, blue. Red, yellow, yeah, and blue. Okay, let's do some vowels now, all right? So the long vowels first, ready? That's the short vowel, Addy. Ready? A, E, I, O, U. Good job. Adeline, I want you to answer the questions too, okay? Now give me the short vowels. Ready? A, E, I, O, U. Can you do it faster? A, E, I, O, U. Adeline, what are the sounds of the short vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Good job. That's right. Okay, let's do our circle, or our shapes, I mean. What are the shapes that we've got? Circle, rectangle, square, rhombus, triangle, hexagon, trapezoid, parallelogram. Nice job. Now, it's really important that you switch who the helper of the day is because you'll notice I've asked my daughter several times to answer the questions. The helper of the day sometimes gets distracted and doesn't. So if you rotate, then they'll all get a chance throughout the week to make sure they answer their questions. Okay, let's find something in the room that is a rectangle. Can you find a rectangle somewhere in our classroom? <gasps> rectangle! Yep, this book is a rectangle. Nice job. The picture, the picture is a rectangle. Good job. This paper. Nice Your phone. Job. My phone is a rectangle. That's right. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. 
Wait, what? If today is Monday, what day was yesterday? What day was yesterday? Point on the days of the week. I did the days of the week. What day was yesterday? If it was Monday. What day is that? Monday. Cameron, go sit down, please. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Good job. If today is Monday, what day is tomorrow? What day is that? Tuesday. Good job. Oh, what does the weather look like today? Oh, what does the weather look like? Is it sunny or cloudy or snowy today? Oh, what does the weather look it like? It actually looks pretty sunny out there. It's pretty sunny out there. Okay. Today is Monday. We already have a sun on there, but it's fine. Just put it on Tuesday. This is just a sample video. Okay, we're putting it on Tuesday. Okay, what's the next thing we're going to do? Um, Scripture. All right, Cam, can you come sit down on the spot? All right, so Adeline's going to say it first, and then we will all repeat after Addy. Ready? More. Second Nephi. Second Nephi, chapter 32. When? Yep, 32, you're right. 32, verse 30. Peace upon the word of Christ. For behold, the word of Christ is telling all things that ye should do. Please don't be with me. Okay, ready? Second Nephi, chapter 32, verse 3. Feast upon the words of Christ. For behold, the words of Christ will tell you all things that ye should do. Nice job. Okay. Okay, let's all stand up. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. Okay. Now I always like to sing songs afterwards because it lets the kids get some wiggles out before we sit down and have some lesson time. So I have three songs that I rotate through, um, so I'll just sing them now. Okay, ready? You're a grand old flag, you're a high flying flag, and boy. All right, so that is a very rough sample of what it is that we do for our circle time. After that, after we do our flag time and singing time, then I will have my kids sit down and we'll have a short lesson time. My lesson time can last anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. Um, that whole morning time is usually about 15 minutes worth of um, togetherness and learning together and recite recitation and that sort of thing. So anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found some value in it. Give me a thumbs up if you did find something valuable or something that you could take away and use in your own classroom and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already. I do post lots of videos about homeschool and preschool and just education life. So come along for the journey if you're interested. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll catch you in another video. Mm -hmm.